not a wife. I'm not a mother. I'm nothing. I'm suspended. That's what I am. I'm suspended. Honey. Oh, I was dying to have a baby. I thought it was the most wonderful thing in the world. Great. You decide to have a baby. Next morning, you wake up, your mother. Well, it didn't work that way. It takes so long. By the time you have it, you don't even remember what made you think it was such a good idea in the first place. To my grandson. Just a minute. What if it's a girl? This one is a boy. Yes, this is for you, Emily, and you me. Thank you. Garlic. What's it for? It makes a boy. It's an old Italian superstition. <laughs> then how come you got five granddaughters?
anything happen to me, would you get married again? Stop it. I wonder if anyone ever died in this house. Never. This house is full of life. Babies to be born, books to be written. How many, Nick? You give me the babies and I'll give you the books. I'll try to keep up with you. Oh, I wish I could lie in my stomach. That hurt? Mm -hmm. this. How are you coming along with that uh, switchboard? Whatever you call it. Structural differential. Yeah. Having the Dianetics, all that other nonsense. Not nonsense. It's when you need semantics. It helps you learn about the true meanings of things. It helps you to become a better writer. They don't make them better than Nicholas Rocco. That a man knows a large number of words is no guarantee that he understands them. Ice cream, for instance, can't be truly defined until you actually eat a dish of ice cream. Passion is a meaningless word to someone who has never felt it. You can define tolerance forever, but it will have no meaning. Twice a week, but don't you come and live with us? Emily needs you. The Garabo? Expectant mother should feather the nest. That's natural. But that wife of yours is going to knock the nest clean out of the tree with all this crazy cleaning and polishing and washing. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Tuesdays and Fridays is all I can take. Gives me time to build up the strength. I'll be patient with it, Adrian. Before long, things will be normal around here again. I'll sure try. Mr. Rocco, I love that girl, but I ain't gonna let her kill me. Okay, baby. Hello, Emily? Where are you? Emily? Hi, John. So long, Nick. Nora? Hi, Nick. Have you seen Emily? Yeah, I think she's out in the back alley. Oh, thanks. Big idea. What are you doing now? Working for the city? Look at this alley. Look at it. What's wrong with this alley? Won't your child be born in still? Our child isn't going to be born in this alley. 
Oh. Given half a chance, he'll turn up in a nice, clean hospital. Oh, oh, oh. You know, he's going to be awfully disappointed when he finds out his mother is a street cleaner. Just look at yourself. Shame on you. A pregnant woman grubbing around in garbage cans. But we pay our taxes, why don't they clean the alley? It's a nice, clean, wholesome... Now, Emily. Now, do what I tell you and get in the house. <laughs> now, drop it, drop yeah. it. Emily. Honey. Relax, sweetheart. I know how you feel about cleanliness. And it's beautiful. But we need the dust in the dirt, too. It's what we're made of. We're not made of broken gin bottles and, and beer cans and soggy tea bags. I know, honey. I like clean I... dirt, Miss. It's the dirty dirt I hate. Yes, sir. I never used to be like this. But now it just seems as if the whole world is full of it, and I have to sweep it away. I know, sweetheart. I know. Oh, Nick, it takes so long to have a baby. Just centuries and centuries. No, darling, no. We're going half crazy for weeks. When I think of you being slender again, I... I almost pass out. My poor paisano. Go back to the office and write about it. I will. Go on. It's coming out of me like a blowtorch. Go on. Go on. Don't you ever dare do that again. What? What did I do? You know very well what you did, and I don't like it. And I want you never to do it again. Having trouble, Nick? Huh? No. No trouble. You know what they say, a woman in confinement? said something hilarious. She was laughing so hard she couldn't even stand up. She had to hold on to you. We just said two words. What two words? We just talked for a minute, that's all. I should think she'd have more sense of propriety. Doesn't she know you're going to have a baby? Why, oh, Emily. Nora Gregory's our neighbor. I thought you two were such good friends. Oh, we are. I love her. I really love her. Can you stand me? I can't even stand myself. Honey. I wasn't always like this before, was I? Of course not. You never had a baby before either. I love you. I gotta go to work, honey. I hope it's a boy. That doesn't matter, whatever it is. Oh, I hate girls. They're all right when they're little. They 
grow up to be treacherous. You can relax now. Yeah, that's a very frisky child. <laughs> Probably enjoys the ball. Thank you, Lord. Well, you, you can't do anything about oh, it. You'd be amazed. Listen, mister, I got an official signed document stating this house was clear of termites and clear of dry rot. And it's signed by J.W. Schmidt. Now, you put that parrot on the phone right now. What do you mean he's dead? How can he possibly be dead? I just saw him six months ago. All right, I'm sorry to hear about it. Just a minute. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. I'll call you later. Thank you. All right, so he's dead. Now, now, who do I talk to? You mean, well, there must be somebody. All right, all right. We'll see about that. The doctor says you're fine. I know. You know that fellow Schmidt? The termite inspector? I know, I heard. It's too bad. It certainly is. 
I don't want to show any disrespect for the dead. But I sure hope they keep that guy in purgatory for a while. Sixty days at least. How can a man do that? Cheat, misrepresent, and then die without being punished. <laughs> Take it easy, Annie. It could be a lot worse. Yeah, I guess you're right. I should thank God that you weren't hurt. Or the baby. My poor Nick. No wonder you lose your patience. It's such a burden to you. What burden? How can you be a burden? That's nonsense. It's not nonsense. Look at me. I'm a cow. That's what I am, a big, fat cow. Oh, you stop it. Nobody loves a pregnant woman, Nick. I see it everywhere I go. In the streets, in the stores, people stare. It's awful. It's your imagination. It is not. You know that butcher, that nice one? He used to give me all the best cuts of meat. Hmm. He never even looks at me anymore. Well, is that important? It's very important. I'll punch him in the nose. Oh, Nick, I don't deserve you. $1,200. Of course not. He'd do it for nothing, but... Jiminy Crickets, baby. Jiminy Crickets? Oh, you don't want him around here, honey. Besides, he wouldn't come anyway. How do you know? Write and find out. Oh, boy, if he knew we bought a stucco house. He's a stonemason. They hate stucco.
Dear friend, if someone would tell you you can have a brand new piano in your house for only one dollar a week, what would you do about it? Tell him to shut up. All right, uh... Yes, Papa. Get pen and ink. I know, Papa. It's foolish. Pen and ink now. Yes, Papa. Want some wine? Uh, it ain't the sweetest deal, thanks, dear Lina. A letter to Jim Rocco, Nick Rocco, Dino Rocco, and Tony Rocco. <laughs> Write it plain, just like I tell you. I don't change a word. Ready? Yes, Papa. Dear sons. Your mother is fine. I am fine, too. We don't need you boys anymore. So have a good time and laugh and play, and forget all about your father, but not your mother. Don't worry about your father. It's your mother. Think about her sometimes. Makes no difference about your father. He never needed your help, but your mother gets lonesome. So have a good time, laugh and play. Just sign it. Yours truly, Vittorio Rocco. Send it her mail. So she got to leave her for. I am so happy to see you. Hello, Mama. Nick. I'm Mickey. Emily. Papa. Help. Like chicken catsatura? No, 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 no. 
Don't drink that. I get some wine. I'll be right back. To my grandson, the Ala Salute. Wait a minute, what if it's a girl? No, this one is a boy. Why? I already got five of them daughters. How about his right? Look, the chances are 50 50. No, no, boy, boy, and a boy. Oh, no, 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 no,
sell to nobody but me. Papa, you shouldn't have done it. I mean, uh, we just couldn't. Why not? Because. Because? Because it's a big step. And it takes a lot of time to make such a oh, change. No. I am an old man. You're not old. <laughs> you are right. With you, I'm young and proud. <laughs> well, many years ago, when uh, I was young, I am thin. Uh, uh, very thin, but I last. <laughs> Yeah, fine, fine. Would you come in the house and minute, please? Hey, kid, I want to talk to you. Later, Papa. Hey, kid, wait a minute. One at a time, Papa. Wait a minute. Who are you? What is it now? Nick and Emily are in trouble. In trouble for what? It's just terrible. It's not fair. That poor old man thinks we're here because of some kind of homecoming. If you're going to tell him about the hole on the floor, you tell him. Otherwise, let's get a second mortgage on the house and fix the hole ourselves. Well, honey, relax. You don't know this operation. It requires great tact. Diplomacy. Diplomacy, my foot. It takes honesty. Now just do it. Of course it takes honesty. It's being done. The machinery's in motion. What machinery? Mama's telling him the whole thing right now. Your mother? Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're hiding behind your mother's apron. It's not a bad place to hide, honey. You know my brother Dino? They don't come any tougher. Six months ago, he stepped from behind Mama's apron and whack! The old man stretched him out all over the kitchen floor. Oh, a fine husband, you yellow belly. So I'm yellow. the house and you don't tell your papa? I meant to tell your papa. Talk a house? Well? Stuck up. See what I mean? He's talking it up with one of his paisanos. Mama, yes. how much money has Papa got with him? I see. Why are you still 10 cents at the Cafe Napoli, Mama? How do you raise it, bro? 15 cents now. How about your Papa won't drink wine tonight? Whiskey, Mama? He doesn't like whiskey. Tonight, brandy. Brandy still 30 cents there, Mama? 35. $7.84. He took everything, even the pennies. Well, according to my figures, Papa should be home on the midnight bus. That's right. He said he'd build a fireplace in every room. Yeah, it's crazy about fireplaces. Built hundreds of them. I like it here. It's good for children. No smog, no traffic. It's so quiet. Now, this would be a wonderful place to write. Are you kidding with him around all the time? Why do you always talk as if your father's some kind of a monster? He's sweet, he's warm. Yeah, he's a sweet, warm monster. <laughs> You're terrible. Yeah, no, you really are terrible. Oh, I'm How would you like it if when your child grew up that he felt towards you like you feel towards your father? Don't worry, he won't. I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Look, honey, my kid can leave home anytime he wants. We don't own him, remember that. It's inevitable. you got to expect it. One of these days, he's just going to pick up and go. He's not even here yet. Oh, honey, what I mean is, Make it easy for him to go. Maybe he'll want to come back once in a while. Emily, you mean? Yes, Mama. Can you come here a minute? Sure. Help me up. And don't let me sit there again. Yes, Mama? I want to show you something. Huh? Oh, my wedding dress. Huh? Oh, what are you so Do you like? Beautiful. Look at that lace. Uh -huh. This is all hand stitched. Mm -hmm. Did you make it? No, my my sister, my aunt, everybody else. You know. Oh, it must have been beautiful on you. On me. <laughs> look, look, huh? <laughs> look at that weight. Well, you know I wasn't. Uh, it's yeah. Lovely, Mama. No, I want you to have it. You fix it any way you want. <laughs> what for? What for? Well, I mean, you ought to give it to one of your granddaughters, or Carla, maybe, when she gets married. 
Carla. Who knows when Carla gets married? Oh, no, no, no. You something special, huh? You keep it. But, Mama, I won't ever wear it. Oh, yes, you wear it. You wear it when you get married. Well, I get married. <laughs> I am married. I'm married to your son, remember? Las Vegas don't count. No, no. What do you mean, Las Vegas don't count? It better count. I got married by a justice of the peace. I had five witnesses. Oh, no, I know. But do you have to have a religious ceremony, a church wedding? If you don't, trouble comes. The roof leaks, the, the kitchen floor and stuff. Are you trying to tell me that all these years you thought Nick and I were living in sin? No. How you live is your own business. You are a good girl. You wouldn't commit a sin. That's why you must get married in the church. But, Mama, I'm not a Catholic. That's true. Mama, what but difference you... does it make? Emily and I are married, and we're going to stay that way. Right, honey? I hope so. I've always sort of taken it for granted you were my husband. I know, I, I know, but... but... Oh, it's all just struck. Maybe bring Papa. What do you say, Joe? Oh. Are you looking for your Papa? Yeah, where is he? Come on, I'll show you. I tried to get him, Mama, but he tells me, mind your own business. Oh, let's go get him, honey. Okay. You coming, Mama? No, no, you go. He listen to you. Thank you. 
Is there another bridge available? No, it's only if we get two out of Sacramento. Sorry, sir, this train is booked to capacity. You just have to sit up in the men's smoker. <laughs> you ask me again? What do you want now, Papa? Ah, we're just sick. Man, let me have something. <laughs> you see what, Mama Feet? <laughs> Tomatoes, everything. That's the Lummy. No, no, not just now, Papa. Stop it. Take that jug in the men's room, will you? Everybody's watching. <laughs> Please, a little wine. Oh, thank you, no. Good for your heart, for your blood. Not just now, thank you. <laughs> huh? uh, let's hide this bar. Will you please stop picking on your father? You've done nothing but persecute him ever since we left Sacramento. But, honey, I don't mean to. Papa, if you want to drink wine, that's your own private business. Nobody's going to stop you. I don't mean to cause no trouble. My own son. Oh, Papa, ah. don't take it so hard. They shame it over their own flesh and blood. Don't be depressed, Papa. Have a little wine. It'll make you feel better. Oh, good. Dinner time, Papa. Let's all go back and have a nice big steak. Are you hungry? Nah. You go with the kid, Miss Emily. I eat the bread and cheese. I try to sell you a little money. Oh, cut it out, will you, Papa? A little hot food will do you good. Come on, Emily. You go. I'm staying with Papa. Okay, then. As far as I'm concerned, you both can stay here and start. Oh, oh, excuse me. Thank you, pardon. Is the dining car up this way? Yeah, straight ahead. Thank you. That woman. Oh, honey, cut it out, will you? Of course I didn't. Why didn't you? Because I love my wife. Good night. I'm not a wife. I'm not a mother. I'm nothing. I'm suspended. That's what I am. I'm suspended. Honey. I was dying to have a baby. I thought it was a wonderful idea. Sure, you decide to have a baby, you wake up the next morning, your mother. But it doesn't work like that. It takes so long, you don't even remember what made it seem like a good idea in the first place. should have had dinner with her. If I know you felt that way about it, I would have. Now go to sleep. What? Sleep? I can't sleep in this thing. I'm going to sit up. I'm going to read. Is there a seat out there someplace? No, but it's comfortable in here, though. Oh, no, it is. I, I'd be much more comfortable sitting up. I'll find a seat someplace. You sleep here. Well, I'm sleeping in the upper. Where's Papa? 
Jesus. In the men's room, he says this is too small. Good, that's where I'll go. To the ladies' room. The ladies' room? Sure. Honey, I wish you'd change your mind. Honestly, I'll be much more comfortable in the ladies' room. Good night. I took care of the old gentleman. He's all right now, sir. Oh, fine. Thanks. Would you close this up? It's pretty stuffy in here. Well, where's the lady going to sleep? In the ladies' room. In the ladies' room? Yeah. Uh, my bag's down there? Yes, sir. They're up front, sir. Thank you. The pipe is in the door kit. All right. What? See? Ain't plump. All house serves uh, three inches. Papa, the kitchen is this way. Fresh one, Grandpa? 
hot countryman, drives you out. Yes, indeed. That's the last one, Miss Rocco. <laughs> I better order it by the case. <laughs> He hasn't started yet, huh? Well, he wants to consider it. Consider it? He's been here a week. Just fixed the floor. He's full of ideas. That isn't all he's full of, either. You going someplace? Shopping. I need the car. Well, help yourself. What's that? It's an old Italian custom. Is that good for the baby? Of course it is. Grandma Rocco drank it all the time. And she had 12 of it. Consider it. Want me to fix you something to eat, Mr. Rocco? No, thanks, Delia. Is, uh, he out there? Yeah, he's out in the bay. Well, Papa, what do you think? Miss Hemmel say you're a pretty good writer, boy. Papa, when are you going to start on the floor? Typewriter machine. I talk, you write. Papa, the hole in the floor. Typewriter machine, boy. What for? Uncle Mingo demand it. For a little boy. So he know about Uncle Mingo. Make him proud. No, no, not today, Papa. Today, no. What's the hurry? What's the hurry? I'm an old boy. Maybe I die any time, any minute. Well, Papa, please try to understand, huh? I just don't have the time. I have my own work to do. I've got a book to write. <coughs> Papa! No, December, I don't care. You feel you better. One, two, three, four. Ah. Oh. Mr. Rocco! Your father said he's leaving. Leaving? Where's he going? Back home to Sacramento. Forget it. He won't go far. Well... Hello? What are you doing here? Me and the kid, we don't get along. I go back to Sacramento. Did you quarrel? Nah, I am an old man. I don't change so easy. He is young. He don't change at all. Did he tell you to leave? Nah. Papa, huh? we need you. We want you. What happened? I ever tell you the story about Uncle Mingo and the band? Uncle Mingo? Yeah. You mean the one with the red mm, hair? I asked the kid. I see the right of the story for my grandson. He won't do it. He'll do it. Uh. You leave it to me. Come on, Papa. Let's go home. Papa? Uh -huh. Look. Look what? A liquor store. Ah. Come on. Ah. The drinks are on Nick. All right, Papa. So Uncle Mingo came to the house and he was mad. <sighs> sure he was mad. <laughs> I'll pray that he doesn't care of Mingo. Mingo got him by the neck and he say, Alfredo, I break everybody in your body. Crack, crack. Uncle Mingo, what make you so strong? Holy glory, we sell. <laughs> Great man, Mingo. Red hair, big feet. I love you.
never got to the bandit. <laughs> what do you care? Make them up. I can't. It's impossible. Well, you're a writer. Invent them. Uh, what do I know about Italian bandits? What's there to know? They're like any other bandits. Only they eat pizza. I can't. I can't. I can't write it. You have to write it. I promised them. What's he got that I haven't got? <laughs> Nudeful. John's niece. I'm American. I'm female, a consumer. A doctor would say I'm a patient. The Bureau of Internal Revenue would say I'm a dependent. I'm a lot of things, more than just a wife. There's no good, this man. I don't like him. <laughs> of course he's good, because he tells me what I am, what I mean in the world. You? You are a woman, a creator. He tell you that? Not exactly. You and me. How long are you married? Six years. Where are the children? The children? Yes, the children. I look around at this big house upstairs, downstairs, in all rooms. Where are the children? My grandson is coming. But his brothers and sisters, where are they? Papa, we had to wait. We couldn't afford it. They cost nothing. They come free. From God. From God? Yes, from God. Books all over the house. The kid is right to books too. But I don't see no Bible. On the walls, you got the pretty pictures. But I don't see the cross of the Savior. You don't want him in your house? What is gonna tell my grandson? He's gonna say, where I come from, Mama. He's gonna say, what am I doing here? He's gonna say, where am I going? You gonna show him this book? don't know. But I think I'd like him to be like you. And smart like his mama. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here you are, Papa. Uncle Mingo and the bandits. You know, it turned out pretty funny. You said it for my grandson. Aren't you going to read it? For what, kid? I was there. <laughs> I saw it. What do you want for breakfast, honey? You know, it turned out pretty good. Oh, fine. I'll read it later. Ham and eggs? No. I'm not hungry. Lamb chops? No, no, nothing at all. What's the matter? Nothing, nothing, Your Highness. It's just a mere trifle. What does that mean? Just this. You haven't read a single line of my work in weeks. Well, what of it? You used to, every word. Well, I've been busy. I don't have time. Oh, you've been busy. I've been out there grinding away on that machine, and you've been busy. Who 
you order this? I did. What for? For Papa. Everything's here except the county you wanted, Mrs. Rocco. Didn't come in yet. No county? What kind of place you got, boy? Thank you. Now you listen to me. I work very hard for my money. I've been given an advance on a book and I'm almost broke. I can't afford your liquor bills. And I can't afford to be wasting my time writing about your crazy relative. You came down here to fix this hole on the floor. Well, fix it. Don't you talk to your father like that. Yeah, sure. All right, all right, just a minute. How do you do? I'm Father Gandolfo. How do you do, Father? Won't you come in? Thank you. Come sta benvenuto? Buongiorno, buongiorno, eh? Ah, sono questi i giovani dei quali mi ha parlato? Oh, sì, certamente. Father, I wish you to meet my daughter and Lomi Semeli. How do you do? How do you do? È stata ad avere un bambino. Eh, è evidente. This fellow here is the boy. Abbiamo già... We just check it with Sam. How do you do? How do you do? Che cosa ne direbbe padre di un bicchierino? E perché no? Un bicchierino non costituisce per peccato. Oh, eh? certamente no. Eh, hey, please, one moment. Prego. Eh? Won't you sit down, father? Thank you. Are you from around this neighborhood? Oh, yes. St. Monica's Parish. Uh, your next door neighbors go there. The Gregory's? I didn't know they were Catholics. Maybe that's because you don't go to church. Well, I, I was born a Catholic and raised a Catholic, and I just stopped going. And you, Mrs. Rocco? Well, you see, I haven't been anything, exactly. Eccomi qua, padre. Un buon bicchierino fa sempre bene, eh? Grazie, grazie. A lei. Ah, Galeano, eh? Autentico alla salute. Tell me, Mr. Rocco, why don't you go to church anymore? Well, I don't know. Lots of things. I've changed. My thinking has changed. The church never changes. Seems to me that should be one of its great attractions. The world has changed, too, father. I wonder. Oh, we have atomic energy and the hydrogen bomb. But mankind? the same. What's the matter? You want to die like a dog and go to hell? Father, you talk to Miss Emily. She's a smart girl. Come on, kid. Come on. Look, Father, why don't you mind your own business, huh? Maybe she doesn't want to talk to him. Oh, I mean, it's true. And she doesn't oh, have no. to, of course. Mrs. Rocco, I didn't come here to convert anyone. Oh, I, I came because your father-in-law... Oh, what are you trying to do, huh? Why don't you just leave this line? Well, honey, why don't you go fight outside? I do want to talk to the father. Well, before you begin, Mrs. Rocco, I, I must explain that your father-in-law oh, passed by the church then. yesterday. Papa, what am I going to do with you, huh? I've changed, Papa. I'm a married man. I'm not that 14-year-old kid you wanted to turn into a stonemason. You're no good for fun as a kid. You'll never make it. Papa, I want to be what I am, huh? Think my own thoughts, live my own life. Emily wants it that way, too. Emily? Maybe she, uh, she doesn't want to go in the church. <laughs> Why not? Well, maybe we'd like to plan our family. Then plan it to get going, babies. Babies, sure, babies, lots of babies. But I want them when I want them. Papa, there's no birth control in the church. Birth control? Well, we got to draw the line someplace. I don't like that kind of talk. But... All right, suppose they come, huh? And I don't have the money. Money? Yeah. What's money? Me and Mama, we had five and now are enough money. But out of reading them books. Books? What books? I can't support too many, that's all. Not my grandchildren. Understand? Leave them alone. They got as much right here as you. Hey, kid. Huh? Avis. Avis? Yeah. 
Punch in. I did too. I was very glad you came over. Oh, Bye. <laughs> nice meeting you. Thank you. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Adios, yeah. Goodbye. See you later. Go ahead, sir. Papa? Yeah? I'd like to talk. All right. Come on. Sit down, Papa. I want you to try to understand what I'm going to tell you. Excuse me. You want me to stay? Go? What? Sit down. Yes, ma'am. Papa, I want you to try to understand what I'm, what I'm going to say to you. It isn't easy to say. I can't become a Catholic just because you want me to. It wouldn't be fair to me or to the church. You asked me a question before. You said, you don't want God in your house? I do. I, I want God in my house and I want him for my child. But it took years to make me what I am today, whatever that is. And I can't change overnight. You don't like the Pope? <laughs> sure, I like the Pope. I don't mean that. I mean, people can't change so quickly. It's not the way you change the brand of cigarettes that you smoke. It's a big step. It takes time. It takes thinking out. Not much time left. Pretty soon the baby comes, and you ain't married. Oh, the marriage. Father Zandarko said that could be arranged. Huh? A wedding in the church? A quiet wedding in the rectory. That's fine. Let's go. Go? Where? <laughs> you gonna get married, right? Well, that's up to my husband. Uh, well, kid. Oh, now, wait a minute, honey. Marriage in the church is a sacrament. You, you have to be in a state of grace. I mean, I'd have to go to confession. Oh. No. You better confess, kid. All the trouble you make for everybody. You better go. <laughs> Capisco che è tuo marito, ma lui è un grande peccatore, ha bisogno di essere assolto. Mamma mia, che razza di figlio ho messo al mondo io. Thank you. Hi. What's the matter? I don't know, I got a headache. Papa? Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I don't know. Whatever it is, I don't know what it is. At first, I feel good about it. Then I feel like I'm being pushed, and I don't like the feeling. It's no good, no good at all. It's... It's very hard, very hard. Go on. I used to love the church. I was an altar boy. Then, Papa... He punished me if I stayed away. I don't like being forced into anything. Let me ask you something. Supposing it wasn't Papa that had this idea? Well, then it'd be easy. It'd be my idea. Honey, do you remember we had a talk about kids growing up rebelling against parental authority? Wasn't it the same thing? <laughs> when you left the church, you didn't make a profound intellectual decision to leave the church. You left the church because Papa wanted you to stay. But you've grown up now. You're capable of making an intelligent decision. And if what you want to do happens to coincide with what Papa wants you to do, why should it make any difference? It's you. It's what you want. What do you want? I, I haven't been a confession in seven years. Take care of everything. Now. 
Ich tu es mal. Nee, der Bege Hammer.
will direct you in every difficulty, it will comfort you in the hour of trial, it will be a continuous source of peace, joy, and mutual affection on earth, and a pledge of your eternal and perfect union in heaven. Amen. for a set of andines. And we should try to hold it down. We're almost broke. You're beautiful. You're the most beautiful man in the world, and I love you. And you won't be jealous, will you? The baby? Uh, a little, I guess. And don't get excited. Time. Better call the doctor. I did already. Let's go. Will you get my things? Yeah. Is it bad? Oh, it hurts, but it's nothing like what my mother said.
put that down? Yes, just put that down. I love you. That's my husband. Isn't he adorable? Mr. Rocco, you can see your wife now. Mr. Rocco, here. You won't remember a thing. Go get you some good drink. Uh, where's the chapel? What? The chapel? The place where a man can... You, you, there must be a chapel in here. Down on the first floor, sir. Thanks. Mingo and the bandits. It's been sold that evening post. Five thousand bucks. Mom, Bobby. But who sent the story to them? We say me to you. Who else? Oh, Papa. But it out again. Rocco, come to the fifth floor, please. Mr. Nicholas Rocco.
You don't worry, kid. Joyce, my paisano. You don't sell to nobody but me. For Santa Claus. Oh, oh my God! Oh my gracious! Let me take this. 